So to talk you through the grid based on the results of the pre-final. On pole position for the junior race here at the Rotax International Open at Zuera in Spain, 2014. Pole position after winning the pre-final is Oliver York. Jordan Brown Nutley finished 3.6 seconds behind him. There was an almighty tussle for second place in the pre-final that allowed Oliver York to get away and just get on with his own race. Third on the grid, we've got Marcus Armstrong from New Zealand. And fourth, Javier Gonzalez from Mexico. So for AIM Motorsport, Oliver York is on pole. For Chris Rogers Motorsport, Jordan Brown Nutley starts second. Dan Holland's Marcus Armstrong and Paul Carr Racing's Javier Gonzalez on road two. For Dan Holland, Nicholas Scholl is fifth on the grid. For Strawberry, Jack McCarthy, sixth. On row four, Dani Slavinsky for M Racing and Renus van Kamthout for TKP. And then, just a little bit further back, we've got Alex Quinn and Jack Martin, ninth and tenth on the grid. Scott Simmons and Pedana Minang are next up, eleventh and twelfth. On row seven, Sanna van Wagensveld and Julia Pankovic, who you heard from on the grid there, a Polish driver. On row eight, Daniel Luko and Michael Stepinski. On row number nine, Angelo Podrumu and Mi Majala. On row ten, Tim Mika Metz and Denis Mavlinov. Row eleven, Ayrton Simmons and Ida Cohen. Row twelve, Luca Beneth with work to do here after a great day yesterday and on Friday in particular. He's back in 23rd spot on the grid. Adam Heichel 24th. Row number 13 then. Jackson Coet from France. Villa Uito from Finland. And then on row 14, Maurizio van der Laan and Luca Nipfer. And then in the penultimate row of the grid, the 15th row, we've got Marta Garcia having a really difficult weekend so far. And Masij Shrupeg. Manuel Swalamen and Multano on the final row of the grid to complete 32 drivers. So Presley Martano last on the grid after coming off the road at the very beginning of the pre-final. He had such a good day yesterday in the top five in all of the heats, but a desperately disappointing uh, end to the pre-final, well, start to the pre-final really, as he went off the road on lap one and failed to finish the race. So Presley Martano with work to do, the Indonesian, but he's a quick driver. He's gonna really struggle to get up into the top two and get a place to the grand finals from where he is, but He'll just have a good race and see how I at the order he can manage to finish the race. So then the juniors just on their second formation lap. Oliver York, former British cadet champion, moving up to Mini Max and now Junior Max in the last couple of seasons. Bunches the field up through the left-hander at turn six. Jordan Brown Nutley on the outside row needing a good start. Marcus Armstrong getting better and better as the week's gone on. And Javier Gonzalez just bunched up behind them. So in the top 10, we've got drivers from Great Britain, New Zealand, Mexico, Austria, Belarus, and the Netherlands. Pidana Minang from Indonesia had a good pre-final, and he made his way up from near the back of the field up to 12th place. So Pidana Minang could be one to watch here from 12th in cart number 46. So this is what it's all been about. All the week of testing, the whole qualifying day on Friday, all the heats yesterday, the pre-final today, have just been a setup for this, the main act. And the top two will get their place through to the grand finals. The top three will receive uh, prizes as well in terms of a free or discounted entry into the Winter Cup. But it's the top two places that we're concerned with mainly. Here we go. Who's going to get on the podium? Who's going to win? Who's going to be in the mix? They come out of the final corner, ready to start the rolling lap. Oliver York on pole position. Takes them through into turn one. Marcus Armstrong tucks in behind him after a decent start. And down, I think they're going to might possibly get a full start for this one. Let's have a look when they come around. Marcus Armstrong was just, uh, yeah, just weaving the steering wheel. So they've dropped off that one. They've given the full start signal and they'll be sent back around again. So there's going to be another minute of tension and build up as we get ready to go. On the social feed, Rona Fowley says, good luck to Kyle Fowley as we're going at the senior race next. And then the rest of the strawberry team. Thomas Eder says, good luck to team VPDR today, especially Jan Vuncek. Salmon 1981 says, good luck team strawberry. Go Batman, Porter, Fowley and Marshall. And Eugene Britz wishing good luck to Cristiano Magado. Keep pushing in the DD2 race, he says. So, once again, after blasting around for the first half of the lap, they'll bunch up 10 corners around here. The first turn will be flat out. And it'll be on the brakes into the right-hander at turn two, where there have been lots of incidents so far this weekend. 
A little kink through turn three and then a good overtaking opportunity at turn four, the first of the hairpins. We've seen some moves into turn five as well. Uh, the left-hander in the middle of the course. Turn six, definitely a place to overtake. Another of the hairpins. Not quite as tight as turn four. One or two moves have been made this weekend at turn eight, but most of the overtaking opportunities come in the first half of the lap here. Although we did see some moves late on in the pre-finals down at turn nine. But definitely the clearer cut opportunities come at turns two, four and six really here. The big braking zones. Okay, we're bunched up, we're ready to go. 10 lap race, this, just to remind you, for the juniors, the International Open is about to thunder into life with Oliver York and Jordan Brand Nutley leading the round to start the race. It's a clean start this time. York goes through, Armstrong, the New Zealander, tucks in behind him, and he's going to be in second place. And Nicholas Scholl, I think, is going to creep through into third place. Got one going right around the outside there at turn two to try and hold on to position. I think it was Jordan Brown, Nutley. We've got a couple that have come together through turn two. They go off on the grass, but at the head of the field, they're still going. I think Jordan Brown, Nutley, has braved it around the outside through turns two and four and has kept himself in the mix here. He's got back ahead of uh, Marcus Armstrong. So it's Oliver York that leads Brown, Nutley in second position. And then in third place is Marcus Armstrong doing a good job. Javier Gonzalez tucks in behind in fourth position as they go down into the left-hander at turn six. I think Jack McCarthy has settled into fifth place by the looks of things and leads the next group of carts. Alex Quinn, I think, has picked up a few places as well. He is from ninth up to seventh place. So Alex Quinn making a good start in the number 36 cart for Coles Racing. But at the head of the field, it's the pole sitter, Oliver York, that leads the way. Jordan Brown Nutley... Initially dropped to third or fourth through the first corner, but he just dived around the outside at turn two, gave it everything, and it's got him into second place. He's held his station through the first lap of the race. Nose to tail for third and fourth between Armstrong and Gonzalez. Will there be a change of lead? Will there be a change for third at turn two? The answer is no, not yet. Fifth and sixth are Slavinsky and Quinn. McCarthy is next up in seventh. Then Scholl, Simmons and Cohen in the top ten. So Ida Cohen with a good start to the Israeli driver. York leads them through the hairpin at turn four on this second lap of the race into the left-hander at turn five. Right behind him with a dark-coloured suit is Jordan Brown Nutley. Armstrong is catching in third. Gonzalez in fourth. And Alex Quinn has gone through at the start of this lap up to the head of the next group. So Alex Quinn from ninth is up to fifth place now. And with about a one, one and a half second gap to try and make up on the top four. So it's important to get through early on. It's taking with him Jack McCarthy, Nicholas Scholl, Scott Simmons in ninth, Edith Cohen in tenth. And Julia Pankiewicz is now just outside the top 10, up to 11th. Pedana Menang, 12th. And Presley Martono has had a fantastic first lap or so. He's from 32nd up to 15th place. So he's made up half the grid here, the Indonesian, and giving it everything. Top two just edging away from third and fourth now. Javier Gonzalez right onto the tail of the third place cart. And there's going to be a change of lead at turn two. Jordan Brown Nutley goes through and into the lead of the race. Trying to come back at him is Oliver York. But Oliver has to sit behind him through turn three. Down into the hairpin. Marcus Armstrong in third place. Draws alongside. York is forced out wide. He's going to drop to the back of this group. Down to fourth place then for the former race leader. As Armstrong and now Gonzalez both get past him. So Oliver York down to fourth position. Your new race leader. A length or so clear is Jordan Brown Nutley in the number 32 cart. Gonzalez really on the case of uh, Marcus Armstrong here. But Marcus through turn six doesn't leave any kind of gap and stays where he is. So Oliver York losing three places at the start of this lap, down to fourth position. Alex Quinn is still fifth. And uh, sixth place is Giannis Slavinsky hanging on to Alex, trying to go with him. Nicholas Scholl, Scott Simmons next up. Jack McCarthy's dropped to ninth, but Anna Minang down to tenth place. Ida Cohen has dropped out of the top ten on that lap as well, as they come through now to complete the third lap of the race. And Gonzalez draws alongside Marcus Armstrong. Oliver York sees what's happening, goes on his rear bumper and follows him through. So Armstrong lots uh, two places. Gonzalez goes for the lead of the race into the second corner and goes through. York follows him. So Gonzalez leads. York second. Brown Nutley third. And York wants the lead back. And he's done it unto turn four. Oliver York has gone from first to fourth and then back from fourth to first in two consecutive laps here. But he's left the door at a draw slightly on the way into the left-hander at turn five. And he drops back to fourth place. So Brown Nutley leads. Gonzalez second. Armstrong third. Fourth place is York, and enjoying the battle because it's bringing him ever closer to the leaders is Alex Quinn. He's almost on the tail of them now in fifth place. Bit of a gap back then to, it looks like Nicholas Scholl has come up through to sixth position and leading the second group of carts. So we've got five of them battling for the lead here. 
We had a fantastic race in the pre-final, especially for second and third positions. Oliver York got away with it, but he has uh, certainly been drawn into the battle on this occasion. So we had various different leaders already in this race. Brown Nutley and New York predominantly with their noses in front. Still a long way to go. Brown Nutley leads across the line. Gonzalez second. And Marcus Armstrong dives down the inside into turn one. It's three abreast for second place. Oliver York tries to follow him. They dive down the inside. And they both get ahead of Gonzalez, who drops to fourth place. Alex Quinn has a nibble on the way into turn three, but he can't find a way through. And then Gonzalez flings it down the inside into turn four to get one of the places back. So back to third he goes. Back to fourth goes Oliver York. Can hardly keep up with this. There's so many changes. But it's Brown Nutley with his nose in front. Armstrong in second place. They're the two in the qualification positions for the grand finals at the moment. But there are three or four others closing in upon them. Gonzalez is third. And we've got York in fourth. Quinn, having caught them, hasn't really got involved in the scraps yet in fifth place. And the driver in sixth place is Nicholas Scholl, who is absolutely flying after them. Slavinsky next up in seventh. Simmons just a little bit back in eighth place. McCarthy ninth. Padanam and Nang up into tenth place now going well. Julia Pankovic is uh, just outside the top ten. And just outside the top ten as well. From the very, very back of the grid is Presley Mortano as Marcus Armstrong now takes his turn in the lead of the race. Through he goes at turn one and he takes everybody with him. Brown Nutley will drop to the back of the group here. He's gone from first to fifth, I think, as they all pile down the inside of him at turn one. So another new race leader, Marcus Armstrong. It changes again. It's changing on every corner. Gonzalez goes through this time at turn four. Armstrong down to second. This is turning into the race of the season. Fantastic stuff. Gonzalez has led. York's gone through with him into second place. Armstrong's now demoted to third. He led at the start of the lap. He's now third. Fourth place uh, is Brown Nutley. He's got back ahead of Alex Quinn, who's down to fifth position. And then there are another six carts on the back of the lead group now. This is sensational, that all together. How long have we got to go? Four and a bit laps. So nothing to choose. And they're all just going to go for this. There's nobody really interested in third or fourth place. They just want to get into the top two and get their place at the grand finals in four weeks' time. So Gonzalez battling away here. One of the four different race leaders that we've had. He goes across the start-finish line in the 104 cart, but with Oliver York now right with him. Marcus Armstrong, he's under pressure in third place from Jordan Brown Nutley. Brown Nutley pulls out of the slit stream, dives down the inside and goes third. Alex Quinn draws alongside and gets through as well. Alex Quinn to fourth place. He got there just in time for turn three. Brown Nutley now draws alongside Oliver York for second place. Gets through. York is forced out wide. Two wheels on the grass. He kicks up the dust. And Oliver York's going to tumble back to third place. Oh, there's contact between second and third. The two British drivers touch on the way into turn five. Brown Nutley and York go off. York is most unhappy about it. They're both are very annoyed and they're both out of contention, I'm afraid. So those two drop out and it puts now Alex Quinn up into second place. Armstrong was delayed by it, but he's still going and he's there in third position. But Javier Gonzalez has now got suddenly a more comfortable lead here. He's about three or four tenths of a second clear, which doesn't sound like a lot, but relative to everything else. Uh, that's gone on in the race. It's a big gap. So Brown Nutley's got going again. Oliver York in the middle of turn five throws his gloves down in anger. It looked like it might be his day today, but it hasn't been the case. I'm afraid he's out of the race. He doesn't get going again. Javier Gonzalez then leads. Alex Quinn, ninth on the grid in second place, and he's quicker than the race leader. He's catching him up. He's much quicker on the brakes down into the right-hander at turn four. At the start of the lap, Alex Quinn was about five lengths back. He's now onto the case of the Mexican almost. There's just about one length between them. Third and fourth run side by side as well. Nicholas Scholl, Presley Mortano, incredibly, has got up into the mix here from the back of the grid. So he's in that second group battling over third place. You've got Scholl, Mortano, Scott Simmons having a good race. Julia Pankovic is in there. Marcus Armstrong having slipped back now to seventh place. I think he was delayed with all that that was going on on the previous lap. Is there a contact into turn seven? In that battle for third. And Alex Quinn goes for the lead of the race. Uh, with two corners from the end of this lap, he's gone through. So on the way into turn eight, a good move from Alex Quinn to get ahead of Javier Gonzalez. Now, if they look over their shoulders, this is a huge gap back to third. And you want to win the race, but you also want to make sure you're in the top two to get through to the grand final. So these two may try and work together now. Quinn leads. On his case in second place is Gonzalez. Presley Martano with a sensational drive to third now. Gonzalez has got the lead back on the way into turn two. The Mexican back in front of the British driver. Quinn closes up through turn three into turn four.
but Gonzalez has got the line covered. So he holds on and Quinn comes back at him on the way out of the corner now. On the way into the left hander at turn five. But Gonzalez just about closes the door in time to hold on to the lead. Quinn stays second. Presley Mortano with a, just one of the drives of the, of the year so far to come from 32nd on the grid into the top three. Be agonising for him if he finishes third when the top two places, of course, are uh, the ones going through to the grand finals. But if he'd said to him third at the start of the race, I think he probably would have been pretty pleased about that. So he's third leading that group. Nicholas Scholl is in that group. Julia Pankovic fifth. Scott Simmons sixth. Marcus Armstrong seventh. Jack McCarthy eighth. Vili Uito has had a good drive through to ninth. And Ida Cohen is back into the top ten. Marta Garcia is just outside the top ten. She's made up a lot of ground in this race as well. There is one lap to go then as they go through with Alex Quinn right on the tail of Javier Gonzalez. There's a big scrap going on into turn one for fourth position as Marcus Armstrong tries to get back into the mix here. Desperately trying to catch the top two is Presley Mortano, but I think he's probably going to run out of time unless they hold each other up. Gonzalez makes his way through turn four for the final time. Alex Quinn closes right up, looks over his shoulder slightly nervously. Mortano is catching them and he's got half a chance here of getting second place. He'll go for it, I'm sure, if he gets half a chance. He's absolutely flying. Mortano is almost onto the case of Alex Quinn now, still nervously looking over his shoulder. We've got Nicholas Shaw running in fourth place, leading the second group of carts. Alex Quinn touches the rear bumper of Gonzalez. Come on, he says, let's go. He's catching us up. He looks over his shoulder again. They go into turn eight. Still in second place is Quinn, but Mortano is right behind him now with two quarters to go through the left at turn nine. Going in towards turn ten. Quinn has a look down the inside of Gonzalez, but he can't find a way through. He's slow coming out of the corner, and Mortano is right on his tail. The checkered flag is ready. Gonzalez is going to win this one, and Alex Quinn just about hangs on to second. Presley Mortano crosses the line in third. What a drive that was. Marcus Armstrong fourth, Julia Bankovic with a great drive to fifth, Nicholas Scholle sixth, Scott Simmons seventh, Jack McCarthy crosses the line eighth, Luke Ibanez had a good drive through to ninth, and Marta Garcia had a good drive through as well into tenth place. Absolutely fantastic stuff that. One driver got a penalty, that was Daniel Luco. He got a five second time penalty, but that didn't affect anybody at the head of the field. Three tenths of a second between them. Javier Gonzalez wins the race from fourth on the grid. Second place to Alex Quinn from ninth on the grid and subject to all the post-race checks and so on and so forth. Those are the two drivers that will be going to the grand finals at Valencia next month. And Presley Martano almost deserves a place off the back of that drive. 32nd to third for a motorsport. Fantastic. Marcus Armstrong then on the screens provisionally fourth. Julia Pankovic fifth. Nicholas Scholl sixth. Scott Simmons, Jack McCarthy, UK Benet and Martha Garcia in the top ten as well. Vliu Tier. 11th, Slavinsky 12th, uh, Suleiman 13th, Cohen 14th in the end, Mavlanov 15th, Majala 16th, Vandalan 17th, and Mika Metz came home in 18th place. That was a brilliant, brilliant race. And we've got the seniors who are going to be coming out next. The DD2 race will follow that. And you can see there the cart just making their way back in now. So Javier Gonzalez, Alex Quinn, and Presley Mortano, the three drivers that finish up on the podium. And I will be making my way down to speak to those drivers in just a couple of minutes' time.